Sortly complete review. Hi guys, in this video, I will tell you all that you need to know about Sortly and all of its pros and cons, features and pricing. So when you guys come out to Sortly.com, this is the dashboard that you guys are going to see. So over here, you guys can see that you guys can simply track items using QR and barcodes. You guys can automatically stay on top of your stock levels and you guys will be updated anytime and anywhere. You guys can even keep your team connected as well. And also you guys can decide what can you do and you guys can even see what you want to do. They also have mobile applications as well for both the iOS and for the Android smartphones. So to get started, you guys can just simply click on the top right where it says sign up. And then as soon as you click that, it's going to show you four different plans. We are going to take a look at the pricing now. So the pricing is pretty much standard. You have four different packages. The first package is the free package, meaning that you won't have to pay anything for it. The second one is the advanced package. And using this, you guys will get additional tools, additional services, which are all stated over here. Here you guys can see all the services over here and then you guys have their ultra package this ultra package is the scalable inventory solution for growing businesses so over here you guys will get more entries more licenses and more custom fields and then you have their enterprise solution so their enterprise solution is going to give you unlimited entries 10 plus user licenses and also unlimited custom fields as well so all in all this is also very very good and you guys can definitely get this plan if you'd like if you want a lot of features or some custom features so to get started i'm gonna choose the free plan and then as soon as i click on try limited plan that's gonna take me over here to another page now as soon as i come over here on this particular page i'm gonna be seeing their sign up button so i'm gonna sign up quickly and i'll catch you guys in one second so once you guys have signed up you will be asked that what is it that you want to use shortly for so if you want to do this to organize personal stuff in home you guys can click on personal but if you guys want to use it for your business you guys can simply click on business so i'm gonna choose business after that click on next and then over here you guys can just simply put in your company name i'm gonna put in my company name and then after that from over here i will just simply pick publishing media and over here i will see the operation so you guys can choose any operation that you would like for in my case i'm going to be choosing marketing and sales and then after that click on next and then once you click on next now it's going to show you what are you using shortly for so do you want to manage your assets do you want to see all the assets that are being lent out and also everything else so i'm going to choose materials for manufacturing products being sold to other businesses and catalog your personal information and after that what category of items are you tracking so over here just simply choose the category of the products that you guys are tracking so i'm going to choose packaging materials and food and beverages and electronics and appliances so as soon as i've done that i'm going to click on next and then as soon as i click on next it's going to take me over here so over here you guys can see that we have shortly advanced and shortly extra so we have two options that we can go with so we can choose to try advanced for free for seven days so let's click on try free with seven days so you'll have to put in your account details now i'm not gonna put in that information right now so i'm gonna come back but you guys can get a 14 day free trial if you guys would like so i'm gonna click on i'll continue with the free plan for now and then after that i will be able to see this particular dashboard so this is the dashboard of shortly which is made exactly as per your requirements so whatever you chose while you were signing up on shortly well then you will see this menu exactly like that so so if you chose something else for example like office supplies or pet supplies you guys will see a different dashboard present over here the other stuff is going to be the same but this particular stuff is going to be changed so over here we have two objects listed right now so the total value of these objects is stated over here we can also see how many units we have and also the items and also how many folders so now we can just simply click on add new from the top right and we can choose to add a folder if you want to have multiple items of one category in that and we can choose to add in just one item and we will be able to see that item over here so i'm going to add the item because we already have folders so i'm going to click on add item now i'll have to put in the name of the item now this item can be anything so i'm going to type in marketing course and then now i have to choose how many units do i have of this marketing course I'm going to choose 299 and then after that I can choose to have the levels. So you guys can put in the level to basically get a notification that whenever the active units fall below that particular level, well then after that you guys will be notified and you guys will be able to get more inventory. So I'm going to put in 20 and then as soon as I put in 20 after that I can even put in the price per object. So I'm going to put in 2999 and then after that I can choose to add in pictures. So I'm just going to add in a random picture for now but you guys can of course add in specific pictures. So once you guys have done that you guys can either choose to check the box which says the item has variance or you guys can just simply leave it out so i'm gonna choose this particular button 
and now I can add in various different attributes if I had a product. Considering this is just a course, so of course it doesn't have any attributes. So after that, you guys can either choose to add them in the all items or you guys can firstly make folders and then those folders are going to appear over here and you guys can just simply add items in that folder. So I'm going to come back and then as soon as I come back, I will be able to, of course, add them over here. So as soon as I click on add, now my item is going to be added. So as soon as I start selling this item, this particular inventory is going to get updated and my stock is also going to get updated and that is how easy it is for you guys to add items in sortly so once you guys have the item you guys can also add in a folder as well now you guys can uh, type in the name courses and you guys can add all your courses over here so i'm gonna type in tools and then of course i can type in my courses in the notes you guys can type in whatever you want but i'm gonna type in my course so as soon as i've done that of course i can choose to add in pictures over here as well. so as soon as i've added in pictures of my course after that i can simply click on add and then after that my folder is going to be created and now i can just simply add in multiple items into this particular folder and i will be able to just simply go to this folder and i can just simply add in items over here as well like i did previously so so that is how you guys can just basically create inventories create pictures and keep track of all your belongings whether they be your home items whether they be your e-commerce store items or whether they be something else you guys can keep track of everything using sortly now on the left side you guys can click on dashboard and then that's going to take you over to the dashboard of sortly so over here you guys have your inventory summary so over here we can see that we have eight items at the moment three folders and 387 total quantity of everything and the value is about five thousand dollars and then similarly over here we can see exactly all the activity whatever we've done and also all the products that have been recently added so this can easily give you a very nice overview of what's happening and exactly what is being done with your inventory to make sure that you guys are updated every single second so now if we were to take a look at the left side where we can see the search bar so when you come out of the search bar you guys can just simply search for all your products so let's say if you have like 1000 2000 3000 products well then you guys can just simply search all those products by simply coming over here and you guys can sort them by price you guys can sort them by tags data alerts quantity alerts you guys can even use barcode or a qr code to sort them or you guys can even sort them by notes as well so that way you guys can find exactly what you're looking for and to see if you have enough of it or if the stuff has run out then you guys can simply click on tags on the left side and you guys can find products by tags so you have the option to add tags like i showed you previously and then as soon as those tags are put in place you guys can find those products by using those tags so for example if you have something in the pet category you guys can put in pet tag on them so whenever you search pet over here well then you will only see those pet products this way you guys can find products really really quickly using tags and then at the end you guys have the option to view your report so once you have everything set up once your store has been running for like one month well then after that you guys can just simply click on inventory summary and that's going to show you the inventory summary what's been happening what product stock you have what's low on stock and everything else so like this coverage is basically everything and then below that you guys have the low stock option to see what products are you low on in stock and then of course you guys can even sort items by the quantity and also the monthly and then you also have the report as well and then you even have the transaction report too to see exactly where your money is going and to see how much money have you spent so so these are basically all the features of sortly basically whatever they offer and then at the bottom left you guys have the settings and you guys can simply click on the settings and then at the bottom left you guys have the settings you guys can simply simply click on the settings and then click on preferences and you guys can manage all of your things such as your billing reports and also your custom fields and everything so guys this is how you guys can use sortly this was the tutorial i think i covered everything thank you so much for watching guys make sure to smash that like button subscribe take care Till next time, goodbye. All apps and software features are available on insiderapps.com. You can compare prices, see honest reviews, and pick the best app that is right for you and your work needs. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and also turn on the bell notification so that you guys are updated whenever we upload a new video. See you in the next video.